first air step was created back in 1935, the latter part of 1935. And uh, it came from the results of George Shorty Snowden, who we call the King of Lindy Hop, challenging Whitey's Lindy Hoppers. Oh, I say, Frida, I have an idea for a step that, uh, you know, that I, I would like to do. So she said, yeah, what is it? I said, well, you know that step that uh, Shorty Snowden and Big B do? Now, if you hear me say, you say Shorty Snowden, well, I just want to tell you that Shorty Snowden with a short coat. <laughs> I'm five feet two. And he danced with a partner who was Big B. She was six feet two. <laughs> so here was Big B up here and Shorty was down there. And it was a funny duo. Now they're going off step when they finished their routine. Big B would pick Shorty up on her back. <laughs> And he was hanging on her back, kicking his leg like a little, you know, just when she was walking off the boat, he's kicking his leg. So I said, well, you know that step that Shorty Snowden and Big B do, the one way she picks Shorty up on her back? She said, yeah, but listen, I ain't picking you up on my back. <laughs> so I said, no, 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 that's not, well, what I want to do is pick you up on my back. She said, oh, that's different. <laughs> so I said, but I don't want you to lay there. I don't want you to stay there like Shorty does. What I want you to do, I want to put you on my back, and I want you to roll over and come down in front of me. And I want to do all of this in time with the music. I don't want it to be like a, a lift, which is what Shorty and Big B was doing. I mean, she just lifted it up and carried them off. I want it to be like a step, you know, like a shoom, boom, you know, land like that. And she said, you know, here's something that this little lady had never seen before. And she know damn well I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> and she said, it took her two seconds, and she said, okay. <laughs> I, I, I got to the point where I, I lift her up on my back, and she's on my back, and I say, okay, now roll over, baby, roll over. So she starts to roll over, and as she rolls over, she pulls me down with her, and both of us laying on the back. And as we lay down on the mattress, the door opens and my mother walks in. <laughs> what are you all doing? <laughs> and I'm, you know, naturally, I'm doing a step, right? I say, Mother, we're doing a step. What kind of step do you do on a mattress? <laughs> But well, my mother was cool, you know. <laughs> I explained to her that we were trying to do this step, so she said, okay, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> so anyway. Chick Webb was a dance drummer who painted pictures of dances with his drums. The reason he had such control, such command of his audiences at the Savoy Ballroom was because he was always in communication with the dancers and felt it the way they did. When I did the air step, which is the first time that had ever been done, that was a, an electrical night. They had this uh, Lindy Hop contest. So I told my partner that I had an idea for a new step, you know. So uh, we rehearsed it in the night of, of the contest. There were six teams, and I was the last team to go out there. And everybody that went out there and then tore the house up. So I don't want to go out there behind all them people, you know. When I was getting ready to dance, Chick Webb, asked me what song did I want him to play for me. And he hadn't asked anybody else that. So I, I was kind of taken aback. I was surprised. But Chick Webb was my man, and I guess I was his man, you know, and the band's man, you know. So they said, well, we got to play for Frankie because this is our, <laughs> this is our salvation. This is our man. So I said, OK, listen, I'm going to do two swing hands, and I'm going to jump over your head, and then I'm going to flip you over like we did in practice. Just sit there, OK, let's go. Play. 
and as I swing it out, I did two swing out, I jumped up her head, back to back, and I stopped flipping over as she's coming over. Chick Webb was playing on the cymbal, do 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 do, and when she landed, boom, Chick Webb said, shoom. I said, yeah. <laughs> Well, well, you know, the people had been clapping, you know, just, ah, 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 ah. and then when I flipped her over and she landed, the people had. <laughs> they kind of froze in place, you know. And then all of a sudden, the Savoy exploded. They said, Wow, did you see that? Did she go over his head? Did, did, what, what? Did, did he flip her? Did she? I said, Yeah. <laughs> And even Shorty came over. He said, hey, Frankie, that's a great step. Where'd you get it from? I said, I got it from you. <laughs> he said, oh, no, I don't do nothing like that. And I, and I told him what, you know, how I, so he said, oh, yeah, that can be done. I said, yeah, I know, I just did it. <laughs> so that was the first step, y'all. Yeah.